Welcome back to the Grown Women's Table. Hey, 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 it's your girl Lori. I hope you guys are having a great day. Y'all, we are doing Vlogmas again. And today, we're talking about my top five perfumes that I have purchased this year. And I know you want to know what they are, so what do you need to do? Say it with me. Keep on watching. All right, y'all, grab you a chair, have a seat at the Grown Women's Table, and let's get into this video. You guys, today is all about the smell good. It's all about the fragrances. And I have some fragrances that are like my favorites, but I wanted to kind of keep it to the fragrances that I purchased 2023. So we're going to go from, I like them all, but we're going from number five to number one. So y'all, let's get into it. All right, number five, you guys. Remember when I went to, uh, it was Daisy Penny's and I found out about this company called Sole Notes. I think I'm pronouncing it correctly. And we had a jasmine and a cotton, y'all. And these are perfumes and this is like all jasmine notes and this one is all cotton note. You guys, I mixed these two together and I call it the J-Lo. I done made up my own scent. This smells so good. You have the cotton clean scent from the cotton, but then you have the jasmine scent and it's giving that floral sweetness also. And you mix these two together, you guys. Oh my God, they smell so good. And what I like about this company is that you can get any type of notes. You can get like rose, lemon. They have uh, so many notes. So if there's a particular scent that you like and you feel like, Oh, it needs a little bit of floral to it. You can get the rose scent, add the rose to it. And by them being perfumes, they last. So number five, my own signature scent. You guys, number four is the Joe Malone Scarlet Poppy Intense. Y'all, this smells so good. It's, it's, it's considered a floral gourmet is what it's considered. Oh, y'all, it's got a warmthness about it um what are some of the notes because i wrote some of the notes down so it's garlic poppy was just the flower tonka bees um what else is it i guess that's all i wrote down but anyway this to me gives me a night time it definitely gives me winter fall sexy is a real grown and sexy scent y'all i love the way it smells and this scent lasts like a lot of the joe malones they don't last long but the ones that are in like the black bottle and the red bottle they have more oil in them so they last longer so the scent definitely lasts a long time and y'all it just smells so good and you know what it also reminds me of it reminds me of the tom ford lost cherry it, it gives me, because it has a little bit of spice or something to it, the warmth, that's the warmth, but yeah, it definitely reminds me of the Tom Ford Lost Cherry. You guys, I, I really love wearing this, and when you check your clothes off, you can still smell it. it smells so good, and I got this at the CCO store, so y'all know I did not pay full price, so definitely check out the CCO store. All right, y'all, number three is Arian Cedar Violet, y'all. I want to say that this is the most unique scent I think I have in my collection because this right here is, it's considered a warm floral, but when I saw the name Cedar, I'm like, I don't know, but that violet, it's got, it's, it's got this earthy sweetness to it that's just, it's so unique. It's really hard for me to explain it, but let me see. What are the notes? So you got violet leaves, gardenia, jasmine. Y'all know I love jasmine. Sandalwood, cedarwood. So this gives you... Uh, oh, I can wear this all year long. I feel like I can wear it all year long. I feel like if you're going to the office and you want to wear something that's not too offensive, definitely you can wear this to work. But it's a warm sweet so i guess when they say warm floor it's definitely a warm sweet scent but it's not heavy it's real light yeah i love this okay i said i wasn't gonna spray nothing but i want i have the urge to spray this it smells so good so i am so glad and if you're not familiar with arian you guys 
Alien makes some really good sense and some sense that they're not smelling like everybody else. That's what I like about this brand, this house. But y'all, this smells so good as well. I got this one from the CCO store as well. Yes, I did. All right, y'all, number two is Arian again. Arian has been on the list twice. This is the um, Rose the Grass Joyful Bloom. Y'all, if you, oh, oh, this is a definitely beautiful rose, floral, sexy, feminine. I wore this, well, actually, the story behind this is I sprayed it in the store, didn't think I liked it left out the store, was driving, and you know, when you're driving, my hand kind of went across. I'm like, what is this? Y'all, this is very grown woman, not old woman, but grown woman. It is, if you like rose scents, it's definitely rose. Like, what are some of the notes in here? We got bergamot, black currant, pink pepper, sandalwood, rose. So those are some of the notes in this right here. But this is very not sexy sensual classy this is classy this is i got some money type scent like this is what this gives me i will wear this all year long but this will be a very beautiful romantic date night if you have a really romantic date this is a scent that i would add i would put on because y'all it just smells so good and they last it lasts and last and last i adore this scent this, oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad I have it in my collection. Number one, Versace Dalen Purple. And I only have it in this travel size, but I will be making another purchase because y'all, oh, Jesus. This thing, this smells so, so, so good. Oh, it smells so good. And let me tell you the notes. Hold on, I wrote them down. Oh, this is a fruity floral. And I think the reason, I'm going to tell y'all know, y'all know. Okay, this is why I really like it. It has bitter orange, pear um, juice, cedarwood, bergamot. It has a very sisterly smell. And I love anything sistercy. And it's sweet, sistercy. It feels layered, if that makes sense. It's not too heavy. It's not too light, but it's just the right amount of balance of the scent. Yeah, I'm going to spray this one, y'all. Right, okay. It's number one. It could get sprayed. I know you're not supposed to do that, but. Oh, my gosh, y'all. This smells so good to me. Yes. Definitely sweet, fruity, a little clean. I can smell the pear. I can smell the orange. Y'all, I love me a fruity floral. That is my top favorite fruity florals. That, yeah. This is so good. So, you guys, I'm not keeping you long because I know it's Vlogmas and y'all know it's a lot of videos coming and going. But I just wanted to come in and show you my top five fragrances. Let me know in the comment section what are some of your favorite fragrances that you purchased this year. Even if it didn't come out this year, but you purchased it this year. Let me know what you like. And... I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I hope you guys are enjoying the vlog, Miss. Let me know. I said I'm gonna do 10 days, so we 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 trying to stay on path. And don't forget, your girl is trying to reach her goal of 3,000 by the end of the year. So if you know somebody that may like your girl, please let them know about me. Share, and that is it. If you've been watching this video, please thumbs up the video. And you guys, to all my new subscribers, I see you and I appreciate you. And if you haven't subscribed yet. Hit that button so I can save you a seat at the Grown Women's Table. And until the next video, bye-bye. If you need some advice or looking for an idea, just to get some tips, you can get that right here. Yeah. This is Lori's Life. Yeah, this is Lori's Life. Yeah, check out Lori's Life. Yeah, this is Lori's Life.